Getting back to why a lot of you guys are here, and that's the wildlife management part of this channel. It's springtime, turkey season's in the air, so time to do a little clover food plot maintenance. What we're doing today is we're spraying clover. What we did last fall was came in here and I planted a lot of clover. It's a blend of red clover, Ladino clover, some white clover, and crimson clover. And I added in some forage oats as a nurse crop. Now what a nurse crop is, that's a fast growing annual plant. You would come in and plant with a smaller seed type, slower maturing plant like clover. If I had just planted clover in the fall, I would not have had a very good fall deer plot. It's very slow to onset. So I mixed in there the oats, gave the deer something to eat while the clover came to maturity this spring. So I used the oats as a nurse crop, but the oats have ran their course. We don't need them anymore. We're gonna convert this annual plot over to a perennial clover plot. And to do that, we're just using herbicide. Now clover is labeled on a few herbicides. Any of your grass herbicides are gonna knock out the oats and any other competing grasses and be perfectly fine on the clover as well as 2,4-D-B. Very important piece of this. Do not use 2,4-D, it'll kill all the clover. 2,4-D-B is labeled for clover. But I'm gonna go off label on this one. Might catch a little heat for it in the comments. Through my own experiences, I have came in and sprayed clover plots using glyphosate. And glyphosate is not selective and it's certainly not labeled for clover, but clover does have a resistance to the glyphosate. So if you come in here and spray this clover with a low enough dosage of glyphosate, which is what we're gonna do, we're gonna knock out everything else and leave the clover unharmed. It might stress it a little bit, which can affect the plant's nutritional value, but it should not kill it. I've done this two times before successfully. Devil's in the details. You don't wanna go too high. I've had luck using half an ounce of glyphosate per gallon of water and spray the food plot, it's gonna knock out most everything else, should leave the clover unharmed. For this project, I'm just using my 15 gallon Femco sprayer. I've actually upgraded the motor to a little bit higher gallon per minute to help put that product out faster. If you caught the video last summer, then you saw me build this little makeshift ATV boom rig here on the cheap. I'm just using standard 41% glyphosate and this is the concentrate with the built-in surfactant, so I don't need to add a surfactant in here. I'm gonna put 12 gallons of water in here, and my measuring cup broke, but I measured off what six ounces looks like. So I'm putting six ounces of the glyphosate in with 12 gallons of water, and that's almost exactly how much I'll need for that just under half acre plot. <clears throat> and by putting this in midway, adding more water will help stir it all up and get it really nice into solution. Got the glyphosate loaded up, half ounce to the gallon. Time to do some spraying. It's midday, all the dew has burned off. You don't wanna spray early in the day. If there's a lot of dew on these oats, then that herbicide's not gonna stick near as well. springtime plot. There's a lot of nice mature clover in here just in time for turkey season. It's going to knock out these oats, knock out the broad leaves, and that clover should really go to town. here making the last couple passes one important thing i wanted to mention is i've only ever done this on mature clover that is well up out of the ground four five six inches tall a lot of leaf structure i've never done this on new first of the year clover so i don't know if it's going to be tolerant to glyphosate when it's that young 
but this was planted in the fall with a blend. Now I'll put a picture of it up here. I believe it was the Imperial Whitetail Clover Blend planted in the fall. And now we're in March. So it's come to a real nice mature level and it will start going to flower here pretty soon. So we'll check back in with you in a few days as we start to see some of these oats brown out. We'll take a look at it, keep you updated, and we'll check out the final result. Catch you in a few. 13 days after spraying, gonna take a look at it here. One thing that's jumping out to me is I clearly missed some spots. I probably should have added some more solution and came back through here a second time. But a lot of the green you see is actually clover. I certainly did miss some of the oats that were in here though. But you can see the clover is in here and still happy as can be. It's not stressed out in the least bit. And there's a lot of it in here. And now that we've knocked these oats and some of these summer weeds out, or spring weeds rather, that clover can take off now. Another great example here with all the oats and some of the weeds knocked out. Those are weeds right there. This clover in here has a lot less competition coming into spring. So the half ounce of the gallon of the glyphosate seems to have worked pretty well in this clover plot. Another representative area where the oats have all been knocked out. All this clover down here is still very happy and withstood that half ounce to the gallon of glyphosate. So the clover remains intact. It's starting to go to seed a little bit. And the oats where I sprayed got knocked out pretty good. I just needed to get a little bit better coverage. About two weeks after spraying, Three weeks after spraying, checking on the clover plot here, and I think you're gonna like this. This clover plot cleaned up really nicely with that half ounce of the gallon of glyphosate. Almost all the other weeds and grasses have been knocked out, and all the green you see is the remaining clover. It's a little sparse through here, but some areas are a lot thicker than other where the seeding might have been heavier. But you can see the clover was practically unfazed by the glyphosate. There's a little bit of yellowing, a little bit of speckles in here. So it might have hurt the clover slightly from what it would be, but it certainly did not kill it and it cleared up this food plot. Looking back the other way, all the green you see in the frame is clover, weed free, a few oats hanging on where I might have missed the spraying, but otherwise we've got a really clean food plot of pure clover out here. Did you find some clover? Yeah. Thanks for helping. That's going to wrap this one up. Half ounce of the gallon of glyphosate. Mowed it after about two weeks. Out here week three, we have a pretty cleaned up clover plot. And you might could argue that it hurt the plant a little bit from what otherwise it would be. The heads aren't real big, but this clover is still hanging in there. Plenty of forage in here for the turkeys and the deer. And it'll be like this all spring and into early summer. You got clover flowers? Oh, let me see, buddy. Uh, crimson clover. Let's take a look at them. That's crimson clover. Is it pretty? Yeah. Hopefully you took something away from this one. But as always, thank you guys for following along. And we'll catch you on the next one.